Every six-week fitness program wants to improve health outcomes in a Central Texas community. The Waco McLennan County Public Health District says East Waco has higher obesity rates than other areas of the city. An initiative called Move East Waco wants to help change that by helping folks make healthy choices and be more active. Yes, this is a good morning. Portia Forward is taking steps to exercise more often. When you work out, you feel good, you know, you feel good, you look good, and you know, so I'm trying to keep it up. She's also participating in a six-week fitness program called Move East Waco. I was excited, delighted. I said, well, there's no excuse for me not to get up. And well, this summer, Grassroot Community Development, Baylor University Health and Wellness and other groups are providing free workouts yes. and health education classes to neighbors twice a week. But to plant the seeds, to plant the idea, to plant the, the vision and the inspiration to want to get physically fit and get more active. The Waco McLennan County Public Health District says 2018 survey results showed East Waco had a 50% obesity rate compared to the 36% average in the city. They're not eating as many fruits and vegetables. They just have a diet that's higher in saturated fats and it's contributing to low access to just healthier foods in general that um, we see within the East Waco community. Um, we also see a little bit more sedentary behaviors, so people aren't traditionally working out as often. Movies Waco organizers want to help change the trend through engaging workouts for all fitness levels and ages. Finding something you love to do to move your bodies is the key and then being consistent with it. So by being out here for six weeks, they'll find out what is it that they like to do, then hopefully we'll continue to do so. Forward hopes to make some of the fitness activities she's learning part of her daily routine. My main goal is to continue it and make it my lifestyle and then also learn how to eat the proper foods. The health district also found folks in East Waco also have high rates of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Move East Waco, which was created to address those problems, meets every Tuesday and Thursday at Oscar Dukanje Park. The last of it will be on June 27th.